Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over the different blood vessels that are on this uh, vascular arm model. So here at the top, number 1 and number 18, both of these are the axillary artery, so that's 1, and then the axillary vein is 18. So then we're going to go over the arteries first, and then we'll come back and do the veins. Remember that the arteries are carrying blood in this direction, and then the veins are carrying the blood back in this direction so it can get drained to the heart. Okay, so after axillary, the long one that goes down here, so this is number, they have it listed as number three, so this is the brachial. So the brachial is gonna go all the way down, and then from this point, this is where it's gonna diverge. So it's gonna diverge into, the, it's gonna go to the thumb side and then the pinky side. So if you look at it over here, you can see radial. So this is radial going all the way down, so this is number eight. So it goes all the way down this way. And then if you come back up, once again, coming off the brachial on the pinky side, you go this way. So this is the ulnar. So the ulnar is number nine, it goes all the way down. So then if you continue to follow this, we form what's known as an arch here. So that's number 13 and 12. So the one that's here on the top, number 13, that's the superficial, because it's on the top, palmar arch. And then number 12 is the deep palmar arch. Okay, so now if we start to work our way back this way, the arteries that are in between both of these bones, they call them interosseous arteries. So the number 10, the one that's here on the front, so that's the anterior interosseous. And then number 11, which is deep, so you can see it there, or if you look at it on the posterior side, which is here, that's the posterior interosseous. So then both of the interosseous arteries, they're gonna converge at a point over here. So from this point, so let me show it here from the front. So if I kind of move this vasculature a little bit, you can see them converging at this point over here. So this one, so this is the common, the common interosseous. So remember that it's always common before it branches. So common interosseous, anterior and posterior interosseous. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, come back here at the, up at the top and then work our way back down again. So number two, this wraps around, and this is known as the circumflex artery. So you have the circumflex, and then um, what they have as number four, this is known as the brachial profunda, or the deep brachial. So it goes here, and then it's gonna diverge. So it diverges into number 14, this is the middle one. So they call this the middle collateral, so you can see it there, it's right in the middle of the humerus. So you have the middle collateral, and then this one that's coming down this way, it goes to the thumb side. So this is the radial collateral artery. So if let me turn it here towards the front, you can see that's what wraps around this way. So that's number 15. It goes all the way down until it converges at the radial artery, which is right here. All right, once again, it's going to the thumb side. So um, they use collateral and then they also use recurrent. Those are two words that they use to describe blood vessels that are going to uh, converge at the main ones. So the main ones, for instance, like the radial and the ulnar, those are the main ones, but they're going to converge at a point. So they use those terms. So you'll see what I mean by that. Okay. So next what we're going to show you is the superior ulnar collateral. So it's going to the ulna. So let me show you where it's going to lead to. Once again, this is the ulna, and then this is where it's going to lead to. But the superior ulnar collateral, that's number five, it goes from here to here. So then at this point, it branches here, and then coming off of the backside, this is the posterior ulnar recurrent artery. So you'll see why that's the case. So this is the posterior ulnar recurrent, and then if we follow it, if we start back here, this is the anterior ulnar recurrent because it's going to the ulnar side in the front of the uh, humerus. So that's what's coming from here. So it starts here, and then it goes all the way up this way until it reaches this point. So that's why number six, because remember earlier I said this was the superior collateral ulnar, so number six is the inferior ulnar collateral. That's what comes down this way, right there. So then um, the last point that I want to make so see how it, it branches here? So from the middle is, this is the middle, 
but then the one that comes back this way to converge at where the um, the interosseous is so they call this one the recurrent interosseous so that's coming back this way because remember earlier I said this one here in the front was the common interosseous so this is the recurrent interosseous okay so that's for the different arteries the next thing we're going to do is go over the veins so you have axillary here at the top we've already showed I showed you that one and then what, I, what you need to do is just remember your ABC's so basilic is the one that comes all the way down this way so you have basilic here and then it comes all the way wraps around here so that's number 17 so you have basilic and then cephalic is this way so cephalic goes here so that's number 20 so it comes all the way down here and then it's also uh, number 19 the cephalic because number 21 this is the accessory cephalic vein so remember once again your ABC's axillary basilic cephalic okay so now we work our way here towards the towards the elbow area so coming off of off of this branch this one that's right down the middle this is the median vein that's number 16 and then the one that's here this is where commonly where they draw blood so from here to here at this point this is the median cubital vein uh, another thing to note is that they also call the median uh, vein the median antecubital uh, that's number 16 so then the last two veins we're going to go over so both of these so this is the brachial vein so here and here they come down and then if you look at it this way this would be the radial vein which is deep right there because it's on the thumb side and then the ulnar vein would be over here on this side all right so that's going to do it for this video